Once a connection cube has been generated, modifications can be done. In this video, we will cover creating your construction documents now that an initial connection cube was sent out and approved for a connection. In the model tree off to the right, you can now view connection cubes and edit from there. After viewing the connection cube report, I actually only want to have two beams in the connection cube with the column. The first modification I'm going to do is to remove the beam framing into the column flange from the connection cube. If I select the connection cube, the contextual ribbon will pop up and I can delete components from the connection cube. I can also add in more components to the connection cube if needed. Then I want to add in a left view for this example. I can then redetail the connection cube and take a look at the 2D detail. There's a new drawing type created for the connection cubes in the drawing editor. This will allow me to come into the drawing and make any modifications that I want from SDS2's auto-generated detail. I could even save this as a standard detail. And then I can add this to other drawings that I want to see, which I'll show in a second. I can have my connection cube show up on my erection view. There is a new setting under the Annotations tab for connection cubes. The name of the connection cube will show up and a polygon is created around that connection cube on your erection view. I can then add in that standard detail of my connection cube on the erection view. In the previous video, attachments could be added through the connection cube window, but I also can add attachments from the home screen under the connection cube attachment manager in the utilities. Now I can go and generate this report again. And you can see my 2D detail has that new view added. And in my U3D, if I pull that down, my left end has also been added. 